imaginal exposure is not for everybody. You know, the avoidance of reminders of the trauma is, is so strong in many that uh, they can't really um, find themselves able to engage in imaginal exposure. Um, virtual reality, I think, provides advantages for, for many subjects, not for everybody, because, you know, there, there are trade-offs here. On the one hand, I think uh, using a virtual environment to trigger recall, because I think that's what it does more than anything else. So let's take a, a service member who uh, was in a vehicle that hit an IED. Um, we can ask them to close their eyes, picture their back, driving that Humvee through the desert, and to describe all of that. Uh, or we can put them in a virtual environment where we reproduce that. They're driving Humvee through the desert. You know, eventually we progress to where maybe there's an ambush, somebody's shooting at them, a bomb goes off, uh, that kind of thing. So um, what are the advantages and disadvantages? Um, I think the advantage to the virtual environment is not everything is on the patient's shoulders. You know, it's not totally up to them to recall everything that happened to them session after session in excruciating and increasing detail. Um, so the virtual environment, they're presented with this, and you know, they start to say, oh, that reminds me of when Bobby got shot, or you know, they, they start to be able to come up with things. So it, it helps with triggering those memories, you know, enabling them to recall things and, and describe them to the therapist. I think that's um, one of the real uh, advantages of it, perhaps the greatest advantage. Uh, there is an element of desensitization that occurs as well. Uh, you know, I fear that, uh, you know, that bag on the side of the road is going to blow up and, you know, that's why they swerved across four lanes of traffic on the Beltway this morning. Um, so presenting them with things like that where there are things on the side of the road, they don't blow up or they at least have a chance to kind of work through that, to talk about what that's triggering, what that's making them feel. Um, now, when you want to avoid reminders of the trauma, there's also a lot of trepidation with being put in that virtual environment. So, oh, you're going to, you know, show me, you know, the, you know, bomb goes off, uh, you know, I, I'm anxious about that. I don't want to do that. But um, you start off very slowly. You start off very gradually. So we have four different senses we can stimulate in the virtual environment. Um, the uh, visuals, of course, you know, so we show them a marketplace or a convoy going through the desert. Uh, they, they see all of these things. And, and it's very high quality graphics. There's a lightweight headset that's pretty, uncom pretty comfortable to wear. Uh, shows, you know, a little computer screen in front of each eyeball uh, to create the 3D representation. There's a newer version we're just starting to implement where um, it actually provides a full 180 degrees of freedom so they can literally see everything. Uh, right now it's like 40 degrees, but they can turn all the way around in the environment. So there are 360 degree views uh, and, uh, you know, very realistic. Um, there are sounds. Uh, again, uh, the audio is very high quality uh, and I think that's particularly important. Um, we have a, a vibration platform. So there's an explosion. They can actually feel the explosion. If they're driving a vehicle, they can feel the rumble of the vehicle. And then finally, there's a smell that we can introduce. So we have a smell machine. Uh, there are little um, pellets that we uh, heat up, and we can create unpleasant smells, body odor, burning trash, uh, the smell of the explosion, cordite. Uh, or more positive ones, roasting lamb, uh, Middle Eastern spices. Uh, so at the appropriate moments, uh, you know, when you're going through the marketplace, so we can introduce the, the smell of the market, good and bad. Uh, and uh, so by kind of stimulating all these different senses, we can hopefully trigger different parts of the brain, trigger lots of memories.